Here we're gonna solve a nice equation over the non-negative integers. So our goal is to find all quadruples, A, B, C, and D in, well, this is non-negative integers to the fourth. So in other words, each of these are non-negative integers. And these need to satisfy the following equation. So we've got one over A plus one over A plus B plus one over A plus B plus C plus one over A plus B plus C plus D equals one. And there's actually a bunch of solutions to this and we're not gonna calculate them all by hand. We're gonna calculate a few of them by hand and then I'm gonna show you guys how to calculate all of them really quickly in Mathematica at the very end. Okay, so let's maybe get started. So I first want to notice that these are ordered from greatest to least. And by greatest to least, I mean that is like non-strict because we are allowing zeros. Notice that A cannot be zero, but B, C, and D can be zero. So let's maybe that make that observation first. So here we'll notice that 1 over A is bigger than or equal to 1 over A plus B, which is bigger than or equal to 1 over A plus B plus C, which is bigger than or equal to 1 over A plus B plus C plus D. And that's just because those denominators are getting bigger, making the whole thing get smaller. Now we're gonna take our goal equation and replace the last three terms with 1 over A, creating an inequality. So here, let's see what we've got. We've got one, and then that has to be less than or equal to one over a plus one over a plus one over a plus one over a, where we've made these replacements. So this one over a plus b has been replaced with this one over a, thus creating something bigger. This one over a plus b plus c has been replaced with one over a, and this one over a plus b plus c plus d has been replaced with one over a, again, creating something larger. So notice this clearly adds up to 4 over a, giving us this inequality 4 over a is bigger than or equal to 1. We can easily cross multiply that and we see, see that a is less than or equal to 4. So that tells us that we've got some possibilities for a. So notice that a is in the set 1, 2, 3, 4. So again, we're working over non-negative integers, but a can't be 0 because we've got 1 over a here. So we've got those four possibilities. And now we're gonna do a case-by-case -case analysis. And again, we're not gonna do all of the cases because there's a lot of them. But we'll just do a couple and then solve the rest in Mathematica. So let's say case number one, that's gonna be when A equals four. So notice if we plug A equals four into this original equation, we'll have one over four plus one over B plus four plus one over B plus C plus four, plus one over B plus C plus D plus four equals one. And now we're gonna play this same game that we did over here with the inequality. So in particular, we're gonna notice that one over B plus four is bigger than or equal to one over B plus C plus four, which is bigger than or equal to one over B plus C plus D plus four. So we'll replace these last two terms with one over B plus four. So we'll do that while simultaneously moving this one fourth to the other side of the equation, meaning that we have three quarters on the other side of the equation. So let's see what we get here. So we'll have three quarters must be less than or equal to one over B plus four plus one over B plus four plus one over B plus four, where we've made that same sort of replacement like we did over here. So that is three over B plus four. Then we can do maybe some simplification first. We can get rid of these threes in the numerator, replace them with one just by dividing both sides of the inequality by three. And that tells us that B plus four is less than or equal to four, which tells us that B is less than or equal to zero, which tells us that B equals zero. But now I'm not gonna go through all of the other calculations that we need to do, but now notice that's gonna simplify this equation to the following setup. We'll have one over C plus four plus one over C plus D plus four equals half. And from that, using the same kind of strategy, we'll easily find that C equals zero and that also equals D. So that gives us our first solution. So let's maybe gather our solutions here in this box. 
we've got our first solution, which is four, zero, zero, zero. Okay, good. So let's get rid of this and we'll look at another case. Now we're ready to look at our second case, which is the case when a equals three. Again, we just got done arguing that if a was equal to four, we got only one solution, which was four, zero, zero, zero. So let's see what we get for a equals three. So let's maybe notice if we have a equals three, this is gonna be a third. We can move that over to this side of the equation, making it two thirds. And so we have one over b plus three, plus one over b plus c plus three, plus one over b plus c plus d plus three, equals two thirds, like that. Now we're gonna play the same inequality game that we did before. So maybe I won't list it out, but what I will do is notice that this term is largest and this term over here is smallest. So if I make the replacement of one over b plus c plus three with one over b plus three, I have created something smaller. So that means I've created something larger. So that means we have two thirds will be less than or equal to one over b plus three plus one over b plus three plus one over b plus three. So we have two thirds is less than or equal to three over b plus three. Again, by replacing this and this with b plus three and then doing the inequality that we just outlined. Okay, great. So now notice cross multiplying, we'll get two b plus three is less than or equal to nine, which makes two b less than or equal to six, which tells us we've got possibilities. B is equal to zero, one, two, or three. So we've got those three, four possibilities, I should say. Now we just need to work through those one at a time. So let's see what we get if we have this subcase when B equals zero. So we probably won't go through all of these subcases, but let's go through a couple of them. So if we have the subcase when B equals zero, then this equation is going to collapse to one third plus one over C plus three plus one over C plus D plus three equals two thirds. We can subtract a third from both sides of the equation. So that's gonna cancel this with this and leave us with one third over here. Again, we can play the inequality game, noticing that one over C plus three is bigger than or equal to one over D plus three, meaning that one third must be less than or equal to two over C plus three. Again, doing the same kind of thing, but now notice, let's see what that gives us. That gives us that C plus three is less than or equal to six, but that tells us that C is going to be less than or equal to three. Now let's look at the sub sub cases of this. So let's maybe calculate those down here, sub sub case. So that'll be C equals zero, one, two, three. And C when we get a solution and when we don't get a solution. So notice if we have C equals zero up into this equation, well, that'll give us a one third here. So we have one over D plus three equals zero. Again, because this becomes one third, we move that over, that cancels out. But notice there's no solution here. So no solution. And that's easy to see because one over D plus three can never be equal to zero. So now let's look at the case when C equals one. So if we have C equals one, we're gonna have one, fourth plus one over D plus four equals one third. But that simplifies down to one over D plus four equals one over 12, because we've got like four over 12 minus three over 12. But then that gives us a new solution. Notice here we get a solution of D equals eight. So now let's collect that solution over here. So notice we'll have A equals three, we had B equals zero, C equals one, and we have D equals eight, like that. So that's a nice other solution. Okay, so let's maybe look at one more subcase. So we've got C equals two. So let's see, that's gonna give us one fifth uh, plus one over D plus five equals one third, like that. Okay, so notice if we move the one fifth over, we'll have five over 15 minus three over 15, that's two over 15. So we have one over D plus five equals two over 15, but this doesn't give us any solution. So we have no solution when C equals two. 
Now let's finish it off when C equals three. And notice when C equals three, we're gonna have one sixth plus one over D plus six equals one third. So now subtracting six from both sides of the equation will give us one over D plus six equals one over six, which tells us that D equals zero. So we've got another solution. So this solution has A equals three. It's gonna have B equals zero, C equals three, and D equals zero. Okay, let's maybe go ahead and clean this up and we'll look at one more big case and a couple of the subcases before solving it quickly in Mathematica. So we're gonna do part of one more case by hand before I show you guys how to do it in the computer really quickly. So here we've got A equals two. So let's go ahead and plug that into this original equation and see what that gives us. So we'll have one half here. I'll go ahead and move that over here and that'll give us a half. And that leaves us with the, with the equation one over B plus two plus one over B plus C plus two plus one over B plus C plus D plus two equals half, like that. Then we're gonna use the same ordering that we've been using for this whole game. We know that one over B plus two is bigger than or equal to one over B plus C plus two and so on and so forth. So that means we can build the following inequality. We have a half is less than or equal to three over B plus two. Again, that's by replacing B plus C plus two with B plus two and so on and so forth. So let's see, that gives us B plus two is less than or equal to six, which tells us that B is less than or equal to four, which tells us that B is in the set zero, one, two, three, four. So we've got five possibilities for B. So let's maybe work down a couple of the possibilities for B and then we'll call it for the calculation here. So let's maybe first look at the case when B equals four and let's see what we get. Now plugging this value of B into our equation up here, let's see what that gives us. So we'll have one over six plus one over C plus six plus one over C plus D plus six equals half. The next, we'll think about half as being the same thing as three over six. Then we can move the one over six to the other side of the equation, giving us two over six, which is one third. So we've got that kind of set up. Then we'll play the same inequality game. So we'll replace one over C plus D plus six with one over C plus six, keeping in mind that that gives us something bigger. So that means we know one third has to be less than or equal to two over C plus six. Again, from adding those two things up. Now multiplying across, that tells us that C plus six has to be less than or equal to six, which tells us that C is equal to zero. Okay, so we've got that C has to be equal to zero. Plugging that back into this equation, we get one over six plus one over D plus six equals one third, like that. That means that one over D plus six equals one sixth, which tells us we have a solution here, and that solution is when D equals zero. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have A equals two, B equals four, and C and D are both zero. So that gives us a fourth solution, which is two, four, zero, zero. And now let's maybe say that that's all of the ones that we'll do by hand, and let's do some in Mathematica. Okay, so first what you're gonna wanna do is use the solve command so we'll put our equation into the solve command. You wanna make sure you put a double equal sign to say that it's an equation and not an assignment. Next, you'll tell Mathematica that the variables are A, B, C, and D, and that you wanna solve over the integers. But that's not quite everything, because you also want to encode the fact that A, B, C, and D are all bigger than or equal to zero, so we'll do that by making something like a system of equations or a system of inequalities. And now we're all set and we can just do shift enter and we'll get the solution. And that's a good place to stop.